In this video, I'm going to show you the step-by-step -step instructions to teaching your dogs how to weave. First, I'm going to show you what the finished product looks like with Jasper. So we can do the weaving in two ways. First, from a stationary position, and then as a walking kind of position. So first, I'm going to show you just weave. Good. Very nice. So that's in your stationary position, as well as when we're walking, weave. Good job. Good boy. So follow along for the step-by-step -step instructions. Okay, good boy. I'm going to show you the step-by-step -step instructions to teaching your dogs to leg weave using box. So we're gonna wanna start off with lots of yummy treats. And I like having treats in both hands. While having the dog in front of you, we're going to show the dog a treat. We're going to put the treat between our legs and we're just going to slowly lower the dog across. The moment he goes through, we're gonna mark it with a good or yes, and then we're going to reward. Good job, buddy. Good boy. So I'm gonna do the same thing. Yes, very nice. And we just wanna do this until our dog is confidently doing so. Good job. Yes, very good. Yes. Once that's going well, we can start adding a second motion. So eventually our dogs will go through the front and then back through. So I'm going to have treats in my other hand. I'm going to show it to the dog. I'm just gonna lord them through. The moment they do, I'm gonna mark and reward. Good job, buddy. And we're gonna just repeat that sequence. So through once, I give him a little treat, have another treat ready and through the other leg. Good job, super, very good. And we're gonna keep doing this until our dog can fluently go from one leg to the other. Good job. Once that's going well, we can start adding another cross between the legs, yes. And every time he's going through right now, I'm marking and I'm giving him a small piece of treat. Yes, very good. Good job, okay. Once your dog is doing that very confidently, we can start decreasing how much we're helping them out. So up to now, I've been very generous with the treats and I've really been luring him into the position. So now I'm going to take my hand lure, I'm just going to quickly guide him and then I'm going to raise my hand up. So I'm still helping him a little bit, but just a bit less feedback than before. So little guide, take my hand away and then mark and reward. Yes, yes. And we wanna do this until you only have to kind of point, dog goes and then you mark and reward. Good job, buddy. Very nice. Now we're going to start adding our movement a little bit. So we wanna be able to do this leg weave from a standing position where the dog goes back and forth, but also while we walk forward. So I'm going to have my treats. I'm gonna help the dog. And then I'm going to move my first leg forward. Yes, and help the dog into position. Yes. Good boy, very good. What a good boy. So you can see I'm helping him a lot again because now it looks like a very different picture to him. And this is because I've added an extra step. So now, not only does he need to do the motion, he also needs to do so while I'm moving. So we're gonna do that again. Whoop. He says the ice is very interesting. Yes. Very good. Good job, buddy. Very nice. And as he builds confidence, I can decrease how much I'm helping him. Good boy. Once you feel that your dog is consistently doing so, we can start adding a verbal cue. So I'm gonna say weave, and then we're going to do the exercise. Weave. Good. Yes, very good. So give that a try and remember to go to your own dog's pace. Some dogs will catch on a little bit quicker. However, for others, this is kind of a weird motion and it can be a little weird. So make sure to just go at their speed 
keep sessions nice and short and have fun. Okay, what a good dog. <laughs>